In the sacred town of Chidambaram, Tamil Nadu, stands a temple that holds a mystery science still cannot explain. A temple that doesn't just worship God, it worships the concept of space itself. This is the Chidambaram Nataraja temple, one of the oldest and holiest Shiva temples in India. But unlike other temples, there is no physical idol here. Inside the sanctum lies something extraordinary, an empty space symbolizing the element of ether, the cosmic energy that connects all creation. Hindu philosophy speaks of the Panchabhutas, earth, water, fire, air and space. While there are temples dedicated to the first four elements, Chidambaram is the only one dedicated to space, the invisible binding force of all matter. It's a profound idea. Long before modern science spoke of atoms, energy or quantum fields, the ancient sages of Chidambaram were already celebrating it through faith. How did they grasp such a complex, abstract concept centuries ago? At the heart of the temple stands Lord Nataraja, Shiva performing the Tandava, the cosmic dance of creation and destruction. Every gesture is symbolic, representing the rhythm, vibration and motion of the universe itself. This isn't just religious art. Modern scientists, including those at CERN, have drawn parallels between this cosmic dance and the behavior of subatomic particles, the ceaseless flow of energy that brings the universe into being. The dance of Nataraja is a metaphor for the universe in motion, a concept that resonates deeply with modern physics. Behind the golden curtain of the main sanctum lies the Chidambara Rahasyam, the secret of Chidambaram. When the curtain is drawn back, devotees don't see an idol. They see nothing but empty space, adorned with a string of golden vilva leaves. This is a powerful symbolic reminder. God is not a form, but formless energy. The ultimate truth is vast, empty and infinite, just like space itself. The secret isn't hidden, it's revealed in its emptiness. This ancient wisdom has found a surprising partner in quantum physics. Renowned physicist Fritjof Capra, in his book The Tao of Physics, connected Nataraja's dance to the rhythm of subatomic matter. The cosmic dance is energy in motion, mirroring what quantum mechanics describes as the wave-particle duality. The idea that everything is vibrating, that solid matter is just condensed energy. This was understood by the sages of Chidambaram centuries before the term quantum even existed. They weren't using mathematical formulas. They were using spiritual insight to describe the fabric of reality. The genius of Chidambaram extends to its very architecture. The entire temple is built with divine geometry, where each hall, pillar and gateway represents a part of the human body. The nine gateways represent the nine orifices of the body. The roof is made of 21,600 golden tiles, representing the number of breaths a human takes in a day. The 72,000 nails used to hold them together correspond to the nadis, or energy channels, in the human body. The temple's layout mirrors the cosmic man, the Purusha. It's said that when you walk inside Chidambaram, you are not just entering a temple. You are journeying within yourself, within the universe itself. In Chidambaram, God is not found in stone or statue. He is found in the silence between sounds, in the space between matter, and in the consciousness that resides within you. The temple teaches a truth that science is only now beginning to fully grasp, that everything in this universe, from the stars to our very thoughts, is fundamentally energy. Faith and science are not enemies. They are two different languages attempting to describe the same profound mystery. If this story touched your soul and expanded your mind, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Share it with others who seek to bridge the gap between ancient wisdom and modern understanding. Because the more we explore our past, the closer we come to understanding our divine future. Thank you for watching.